What's up guys, Sahan Man back with another Batman figure review and today we're going to be taking a look at the Batman Jack's 19 inch Big Figs, that's what they're calling it, the Big Figs figure. So these are 19 inch figures. On the left we have the Batman which I think is based off of the, uh, what is it, the superpowers Batman or more so of like the old school looking Batman with the blue and gray suit and he has a little bit of the black around the, uh, the cowl. And he's got the black trunks there. And on the right, you're looking at the Michael Keaton 89 Tim Burton style Batman in the 19 inch Jacks um, Big Figs. So this is really cool. Now, both of these I picked up at Walmart. And uh, they, I had to search for different Walmarts to pick these figures up. But um, this is the front of them right here. You can see they have little display stands at the bottom. And it tells you, you know, it shows you the Justice League right there because I'm pretty sure they're going to be coming out with all of these figures pretty soon of the old like superpowers kind of uh, figures. And then here's the back right here is a look. It tells you a little bit of description, seven points of articulation. And then right there on the back of this one, it's the uh, Keaton version Batman, which I think is really, really cool. But um, so that's pretty much it as far as the packaging goes. I'm going to take both of these out of their little display stands and we're going to take a closer look at each of these figures. First up here we have the super so super powers uh, version of Batman right here, which is actually really cool. I really like how this looked when I saw it in store because I was debating on leaving it and then um, I, I couldn't pass it up, but this is the super powers one. So there's a quick little 360 look at this guy. Now let's take a closer look at the um, Tim Burton inspired figure. So here we go guys, here's the Tim Burton version, the Michael Keaton version if you will. They both have different style um, cloth capes, but it looks like they share the same body mold. There's both of them right there. Quick little 360 look. So neither one of these figures come with any kind of accessories. Um, so you can see they pretty much share the same body mold, the, sh the same head sculpt. I would say the only really big difference is the paint applications, obviously, and um, the cape. The cape, the fabric cape is different because you can even see right here, they even have the same kind of like hand positionings on each figure. If you show you the Batman one right there, and it uh, looks like there's, they're meant to hold on to something. But um, let's take a look at the superpowers version of Batman, which I think is great. This is the reason why I really wanted to pick this guy up is because I used to have a figure like this similar when I was a kid. And I think it was like a 13 or 14 inch scale one, except he didn't have the black in the front of the um, of the mask. It was only, uh, it was I think it was all blue altogether. But I did, this just brings me back memories and I love Batman in this look too. But uh, the head sculpt is pretty good. So you can see right here, he's got like the square jaw. Um, you got the bat ears up top. Paint applications look great. You have the bat logo right here, the muscular body, the um, utility belt, black little trunks. There's the back right here. You can the cape hides all the the screws and everything. You can see the cape. Uh, it is a kind of like a thick fabric. It's not too bad. It's kind of torn right there at the bottom. It's a lot better than the um, than the Jacks uh, Batman versus Superman armored Batman. You have his gauntlets right here. So you can see it's a gray suit, the blue gloves, and um, these are soft rubber material for the gauntlets. What else we got here? So you have the black, or I'm sorry, the gray pants, and then the glossy boots, which I really, really like. I think these look great. There's the bottom right there. And that's pretty much it for this Batman figure. The cape is, uh, I was gonna say it's kind of stretchy, but it actually isn't. It's kind of see-through. There's a little bit of like stitching right here. I guess if you want to rip this off, like you can you know make the cape drape over the shoulders, but I like it how it looks like this, so I'm gonna keep him in this position. He has the classic uh, Batman logo right there as well. Now, as far as articulation goes, it's gonna be very weak. You go forward and back on the legs. Uh, no waist articulation. The head can rotate. Arms go forward and back, and he's got rotation at the uh, the lower forearm area. So that's the uh, superpowers version of Batman right here. So we'll put him aside and we're gonna take out the Michael Keaton or Tim, uh, Tim Burton version style. Now, the only thing I really don't, I don't like too much about this one is the fabric on the cape that they use for this Batman. But I do like how it's draped right here. It's kind of like square cut. And um, it, it, you know, it goes over the shoulders and it just opens up right here. Unlike the other ones kind of go back right there but these ones um i like how the cape trips over in the front but you have the head sculpt right here again this shares the same head sculpt as 
the blue one that I just showed you. So it's pretty nice. You got the ears, the cowl looks great, the white eyes, and the um, square jaw. You got the Batman logo right there. Just pretty much all solid black in the suit. You have the gauntlets, same hand positioning as the other Batman I just showed you. Same articulation as well, uh, armored body. There's the utility belt right here. No difference in the belt either. There's the back of the um, the figure. So you can see same screw, same screw holes and everything and uh, same pants. Everything's pretty much the same other than the color. And this one does have glossy black boots as well. So very, very nice. The cape um, on this one almost goes all the way to the bottom of the feet. And you can see the way it's cut at the bottom and it is also kind of see-through. So that's pretty much it for this review, guys. It's pretty much just a quick little look at both of these figures. They are in the 19 inch scale. So if you guys are Batman fans, you're definitely gonna wanna pick these up. I'm not sure if these are Walmart exclusives. When I heard these were uh, released, I checked online and they were available online, the Armored Batman, uh, these two versions. And um, so I went to like three or four different Toys R Us, uh, sorry, three to four different Walmarts and they had them at each, I went, at each Walmart, they, they had one of each at each different Walmart I went to. They had um, one Walmart had this one, another Walmart had this one, another, and on Target, I ended up finding the Armored Batman. So you might have to do a little bit of hunting, especially with the whole Batman versus Superman movie coming out because uh, these are going to fly off the shelves guys are only retailed at $20 which isn't bad especially for this size scale figures I think they're really cool for display and they're throwback figures um, but let me know what you guys think about these figures do you guys have them which one do you guys like and uh, if you guys pick it up which one are you guys going to pick up let me know in the comments below thanks for watching please subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed we'll see you guys later stay tuned for more Batman reviews peace